In this video, I'm going to show you the 6175 12 by 12 Kodiak tent assembly in five easy steps. First thing that we're going to do is open the box and see what we got inside here. You'll notice the first thing we have is the tent body bag. It's empty when it's shipped. And this is the tent body itself. Next, we've got the pull bag. The stakes are included in there. And then lastly, we've got the owner's manual. All right, let's get started. We're gonna undo this strap on the left and on the right, and then unroll this. You're gonna to wanna to find a nice, good, flat spot. And then, of course, you're gonna want the door where you want to enter and exit from the tent. And you can either look for the door or you can look for the zippers. There's an optional add-on room, and that's on the front. So face the front where you want it. You got the stakes inside the stake bag. The stakes are bundled in two separate little bundles. I don't know why they're bundled separately, but it doesn't matter. I'll show you where they all go. Please trust me when I say you're going to want a good size rubber mallet. Please do not use a hammer. You might damage the nylon straps. With any Kodiak tent, the first thing you do is pull it nice and tight and stake down the four corners and then the rest of the stakes. The first poles that we're gonna deal with are called the main upright poles. They have the bends there and uh, Look at this beautiful shot. I didn't even plan this, the way the sun glistens off of these poles. I couldn't resist putting it in the video. <laughs> anyway, these are the two upright poles that make up the ridge, the big seven and a half foot tall ridge, the main part. This is one pole in three pieces. It's connected together by a wire. The first thing we're gonna do is slide that through the top ridge, and then we're gonna add the two upright poles. And this is how they connect together. There's a strap on both ends that kind of secures them in place. You put that strap between those two nubs, connect it to the main pole, and voila, you're set. If we take a look at the other end, you can see it's identical, same thing. And those telescope, by the way, so they store nicely in your pole bag. And then other poles that you have are just these other upright poles. There's four upright poles that go, they're the taller ones, they go in the front and in the back. There's two in the front, two in the back. And then there's four of the shorter upright poles that go on the left and the right side, as you can see here. What holds up these poles are guy ropes. You've got two kinds, there's two of the colored ones, and then the rest are white. The two with the colored pattern on it go in the front and in the back on the taller ridge pole. And then all the white ones go just on around the perimeter on the other upright poles. And this is what it looks like. You can do whatever type of knot you like. I like to do a slip knot, but you can see it in the bottom right there. And like I said, these telescope, so you telescope these. And the first step, you can do this with one, with one person, but it's easier if you have two people. I do have some videos showing the 12 by 12, the other style that, where one person set it up. But basically, you do those two upright poles, you use the guy ropes to secure them in place, and then you do the front and the back uh, upright poles, and then the ones around the perimeter. I think there's something really satisfying about watching this part of the assembly where it all kind of comes together. And take a look at these 14 guy ropes. This thing is rock solid. You get some wind, you get some rain, you get some snow, this thing's gonna hold in place. And after the upright poles are done, you do the storm window. And it comes with this optional storm pole. If you're gonna get snowed on, you're gonna throw that up. Um, and let me tell you about some of these features. You've got this large D-shaped door that can be held open. You've got all of the windows that open up and cinch and strap to the wall. You've got these no CM mesh windows with gear pockets sewn underneath it. And on the left of this window, there's a storm window where you can even enjoy some bad weather. And don't forget about that low voltage power port there. This shot, you can see everything's closed. You get rained on, even torrential rain, you're not gonna get any rain inside this tent. You get snow, you're not gonna get any snow. You get wind, you're not gonna be able to feel the wind. But on a hot day, Take a look at how open this can be. You open all these windows, no matter what direction the wind's blowing, you're gonna get some ventilation. If you look closely, you can see in the peak there, underneath the roof, you've got an airflow vent. There's one on the backside as well. You've got cotton duck canvas, 10 ounce weight on the roof. On the walls, eight and a half. You've got this thick 13 and a half ounce polyvinyl floor. The pack weight for this tent is about 97 pounds, that, so that's for everything. Keep in mind that the tent body comes in its own bag. The poles come in its own bag. One thing people really like about this tent is it's all white. It's beautiful. It's considered a glamping tent. We've got camp chairs, camp cots, pads, and more. If you're interested, visit us at competitiveedgeproducts.com. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.
Oh, wait, don't go yet. I almost forgot to tell you about the add-on room. The add-on room is 8x8, and look at how cool this is. It, it adds this big, beautiful awning, and that's just the awning portion. There are walls as well, but it's a perfect match. It's got the olive trim around the bottom of it. Gives you shade. You can put some camp chairs underneath it, put some gear underneath it, and if you want to put the walls up, it does come with these walls, you can enclose this entire area. Again, it's eight by eight. The windows close, so you are still protected from the elements. All right, now for reals. Thumbs up if this was helpful. Thanks for watching.